Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Little Miss Kira has already been back to her normal self today. I think whatever she ate or whatever she got into that caused her to get all sleepy and scared the heck out of us yesterday, whatever it was, I think we caught it nice and early and that made it a little bit easier to get it out of her system. She sure has been peeing like a racehorse today though. <sighs> Thanks for the scare yesterday, babe. Um, talk to the vet. The vet said, go ahead and hit the road. Look at her. She's like, I'm fine guys. I don't know what you're all making a fuss about. I just ate some stuff and it made me seepy. You could have just let me sleep. You know, maybe we should have just let you sleep. And then, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then we could have had some, uh, some time to ourselves, right? Right, Memphis? Memphis was like, it was nice when she wasn't here for four hours yesterday and I got a nap. Memphis loves her, but Memphis slept the whole time she was gone. It was kind of funny. Uh, so we are leaving DuPont, Washington. It has been a very interesting stay. Like I said, the hotel's been amazing. Just the cure having to go to the vet made things a little interesting. And we are heading to Montana. And we lose an hour today because we start going back into the other time zone. So we got to hit the road. It's 8 o'clock. We got a 10 hour drive ahead of us. Let's hit the road. You ready to go? You're so pretty. All right, let's go. Hey look, we found that place again where clouds are born. <laughs> I guess this is Mount Baker. Oh, that looks so cool that way as well. We're on I-90, we're on our way to Montana, and it looks like we need to drive through yet another mountain range. It's definitely cloudy up here. It's very cloudy. It looks cool though. Yeah, because now we're going up, so my ears keep popping. Yep, mine too. Hi truck, I wanted to look at this way. Oh look at there's a mountain with clouds being born. So neat. And it's Memphis here over there. So we've got eight and a half hours to get where we're going for our nine hour drive today. We might stop and see some friends of ours along the way, depending on when we get to where they're at. Otherwise, today is mostly a drive day, but I'll take it because we get to drive through this. And because I'm not driving. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's so cool. It reminds me of Pennsylvania mountains. It does, yes. Yeah, it does remind me of Pennsylvania mountains. I love how there's like the trees and then the rock. You can see the rock coming out of the mountains. We were just talking about how all the mountains are so different, yet they're all still so cool. That is an animal bridge. Sure. It is. There's no road there. Yeah. That bridge that we just went under is to let animals get from this side to this side without having to try to cross this road. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen one. It's pretty neat. So we made a little stop at the Rinko Petrified Forest. What was it? Like the visiting area? No. We didn't like drive into the forest area, but we saw some of the petrified wood that was out there and there was a gem shop, which is why we really wanted to stop at a gem and mineral shop. So of course we had to pick up some rocks. <laughs> so this one apparently is some type of rock you can get in Oregon and I already forgot what it was called, so maybe one of you guys can tell me. But I got one of those and then we had to get a piece of petrified wood because why not? And I got one of the polished pieces because it just looked really cool. We bought rocks. We bought rocks. Well, we didn't have a real good chance to go looking for rocks. Yeah, we didn't read it. We didn't think about that much either. That we should have made some time for that, but that's okay. We bought some rocks. I got this piece of petrified wood as well because it looked cool. Continuing on. All right, so we just stopped to get lunch. We just visited James and Ashley from the Chicks Life. If you guys don't know who they are, check them out. You can just look up the Chicks Life. We didn't film anything. We didn't stay for long. We just kind of went and said hi because we were, they were what, 20 minutes off of our yep. trail? Yep. Our oh, trail. Okay. 20 minutes off of our trip. Gonna put us to the hotel in Montana a little bit later, but that's okay. That'll be all right. Yeah. They'll have to film some stuff as we drive through there. <laughs> I'm gonna drive for a little bit and then possibly Jamie will finish out the drive. We got about four and a half hours. Not too bad. So we're gonna fill up on some food. The dogs had lunch while we were at the park with hi, them. Shelby. And yeah. Yeah. They know, they know they're getting chicken nuggets. <laughs> they know. They know. So, all right, we're going to continue on. Wow. We're definitely, I think it was like 3,000, 4,000 feet maybe more. I think we're higher up now. Oh, guess what? What? As we come around this corner, we're going to enter into the 
next state. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. We're, we were just in the panhandle of Idaho. Yeah, driving in the clouds, apparently. Yeah, look at that. Hi, Jess. Hi. <laughs> it's gonna look right across you. You just keep on driving. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw the state line. Yeah, the state line is actually right up here. Well, hey, let's, let's vlog Montana. Entrance to Montana. Let's see if they have a cool sign all the way up here on this mountain. Right. Did somebody build a cool sign. Yeah, I was gonna mention Lookout Pass. Uh, why do they call it well, like Lookout? Like, look at that mountain up in the head, up ahead. If there's a big lookout there, what are you gonna look out and see the next mountain? Right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it does kind of. Literally, what are you, you? It's not like oh, oh, hey, the mountain on the left's trying to run for the hills, guys. Oh, I mean, it is pretty. Check it out. There's snow. Montana. <laughs> and there, there was snow on the peaks of them. Was there? Yeah. Oh, the, I see it. Way yep. up over there. It's got to be snow. Yeah, yep. that's definitely Way snow. Or it's a waterfall. Well, considering it's 48 degrees out right now, yeah, here. I'm pretty sure up there there's problems. Let's see, we Let's know, see through the bugs? Yeah, it's kind of kind of blurry. Shelby ain't too fond of the hills, but... She's making it. Wow, look at all these trees blew down. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, you can clearly see that. There were spots where you could see landslides where the, the where the, all the trees were just missing on the hill. This is really pretty. This is pretty. The clouds were on the other side of the hill. That was pretty cool too. I've always wanted to drive through Montana. We huh? only ever drove through like the little corner of it. So I'm like, and it was years ago. I've always wanted to go through Montana. So I'm super excited for today and tomorrow. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I kind of want to be home, but too bad. <laughs> we're, we're stuck in the mountains, still playing in the mountains. Yep. party wagon right there. That was a bus. Yeah, headed, they're headed to NASCAR. <laughs> no, I think they live in that thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And, and, oh, gosh, it's still hilly. We're going downhill. All right. Look at that. Look at that, guys. It's so crazy. Desolate. <laughs> <laughs> State are we We're in, in Montana. We're in Montana. That's a naked mountain. And that's, the, yep, the other side is full of trees, but this side has none. I could drive up that mountain. That's what Jess says, but <laughs> I don't know. I can do it. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's go to the top of the mountain. Yep. You see all the roads leading to the top? Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain. <laughs> Candy Mountain, Charlie. Yeah, it's a pretty big... It's just Straight weird up. that there's nothing on this one, and this one has trees, and then next to it, it's like, I don't know, maybe that's where the snow falls and nothing grows, because anytime the trees grow, like, it has little mini avalanches. Maybe that, or, yeah, it could be that, or it's just really, really hard rock. That could be too, I guess. Maybe just grass will grow, and that's it. Maybe. Stuck in traffic still, but I thought that mountain was pretty cool, so. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So after a really long day, we're here. We made it to our hotel, and look, it looks just like all the other hotel. What are you, really? Oh my God, <laughs> you're the cutest thing in the world. You like that? Is that fun in there? <laughs> Guys, this is great, check this out. I got my own little hidey hole. Is that your hidey hole? Oh, she just won't leave you alone, will she? This puppy's got so much energy right now. Hey, shh, shh, shh. indoor voice, indoor voice, indoor voice. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go find something for Jamie and I to eat, and uh, I'll probably get ready to go to bed after that because it's late. I guess technically though, hon, it's only like 9.30 from where we just were. So, from where we were? From where we were. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so realistically we would have rolled in at about 9.30 if we were in the other time zone. <laughs> All right, girls. I was asking, I would ask you if you're ready for bed, but you're already in bed, so I think you're ready. <laughs> 
Kick that leg out there, girl. You get it. Get it. All right, guys. We're going to call it a night. We actually have no idea what's in store for tomorrow. We don't know what we're doing. We were going to go to Glacier National Park, but it's still like three and a half hours away from here, so that would make uh, seven hours of just driving tomorrow. And We might take it easy. We might find some local trails and some local areas close to where we're at, see what we can see. Maybe find some rivers, take the dogs for some hikes. Who knows? We'll figure it out tomorrow. So we got one full day here before we continue on. You got it. You got an itchy spot. I'm gonna help you itch it. I'll help you itch your butt. I'm gonna help you itch your butt. I'll help you itch your butt. <laughs> Fine, you itch it. <laughs> All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. I'm glad you're feeling better. We're so glad you're feeling better. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs